Hi everybody, welcome back to another video in my messy to minimal series. I am so excited because today I am tackling something that I've been meaning to do for such a long time and that is the kids crafts and toys and everything like that and this needed a really good declutter. So I am going to go through all of this today with you and kind of share with you my systems, um, what I have learned from the new book that I've been reading, um, Minimalista, um, and yeah, just kind of sharing with you the process and how I get on with it, basically. So this corner of our kitchen was starting to get overflowing and it was starting to stress me out, to be honest. So we had a few of the crafts down here, a few of them up on top of the fridge in one of the cupboards. And then we had a few of them in our under the stairs cupboard, a few of them in his room. It was just all over the place. So the first thing I did was actually bring everything down here so that I could have a proper look at how much stuff we actually have. One of the things that I did was really try to ask myself, is he actually using these things? Like, is he actually playing with them? Is this something he actually enjoys doing? Because if not, then what's the point of me keeping it? And then I also tried my best to remove as much packaging as possible. Like th we had this huge um, case of crayons and pencils and things like that. And to be honest, half of them don't even work anymore because they've dried up. And that huge case was taking up so much space in our kitchen here. So I got rid of it and I'm also going through all the play-dohs, seeing if any of them are dried up. Um, I'm just kind of tackling all the papers and the little books that he has here and there because, you know, we kind of keep a lot of these things, I feel like, just because they're there, basically, because it's easier not to tackle them than to tackle them. That's what I've been doing anyway. And they just have accumulated so much. So I'm taking a few of these notebooks up to his room. It's kind of like activity books, um, just so that he can actually use them. Because if they're out of sight, he's not going to use them. And then I have this big toss or recycle pile um, of things we don't use. And then I have this pile that's left of things that we actually do use, but we don't use all of them on a regular basis. So my system for this is I am using these clear um, plastic bags to organize all of the things that we have here by category. So I've got these little animal shapes that we use for Play-Doh. I've got the actual Play-Doh. I've got crayons. I've got kinetic sand. So everything goes in one of these bags. Um, and I'm putting all of them in this white basket that's going to be the crafts and kind of activities like this basket. And this basket will actually go out of reach. So it will be higher up um, on top of the fridge, you know, kind of in one of those cupboards. So all of these are going out of reach because it's not something that we use every single day. It's not something that we reach for a lot. Like sometimes he will ask for these activities, but it's not very often. So there's no point in having them, you know, within reach to um, just clutter up the space down here. And yeah, just to kind of be easy to make a mess with basically. 
And one thing I actually found hard to do is to get rid of papers, like things he's drawn on, things that I want to keep for memories. And I just try to be honest with myself, like I don't need a thousand pieces of papers of memories <laughs> of things that he's drawn on. So I kept the ones that, you know, looked the best or the ones that we liked the best, I kept them in this folder or the ones that are more recent and he might ask for. This is also the inbox folder where I keep all the things that come in from school, anything that I need to keep for future reference. Some of the memories that I want to keep, I will take into a memory bin in the garage, but it doesn't all need to be piled up in here all the time. And yeah, any other papers that he's drawn on that are not really um, going in here are going straight to recycling. One other thing I got rid of is these bulky um, recipe of, you know, folders that I have here because I realized I actually don't reach for them very often. And that's because um, all of these like HelloFresh or Gusto meals, you can find all of them online on their website um, or on their apps. So I initially started taking photos of them, but then I realized I don't even need that because I can just find them online. And that's what I usually do anyway. I just go straight online to find the recipe. I don't come to these folders because I only have a few favorites that I go back to um, again and again. So this basket is another one of our inbox basket so this is where i keep in this folder again things that come from school and some of his artwork and then i only kept a few things down here that we actually use on a regular basis and that is a watercolor set some white pieces of paper three play-doh tubs and a table cover that we use and that's it because honestly he doesn't really need that much um, and i feel like this kind of actually boosts his creativity a lot more um, rather than a messy place that he can't find anything in and that is a pretty big pile of toss or recycle things. I got rid of so much and it honestly felt so good. I also went through some of his books and kind of puzzles and games and I put away anything that he's not actually playing with at the moment. I put them in the garage um, just because we're having another baby and I know she might want to use them, you know, when she's a bit older. But when she outgrows them, then I'm just going to get rid of them. Like I'm not going to keep them anymore. And that's the plan anyway. And then I moved on to his toys. So he has in here pretty much all of the toys that he has, except for um, he has a few upstairs in his room and those are mostly Legos. So he keeps all of his Legos in his room um, in this big um, troll fast system that we have from Ikea. Um, and I just wanted to go in here and kind of take everything out. So I went through each of these baskets and I wanted to make sure each of them has one category of toys basically um and honestly he doesn't really play with that much i realized like there are so many things in here that he hasn't touched in maybe like a year so i took those out and i've actually been doing this declutter constantly over the last few months kind of taking a few things out when i notice he's not playing with them and i know it can be really hard to get rid of toys because you know they might have an attachment to it or even if they see it they might want it back even though they haven't played with it in a year so he was quite good with it. He didn't really miss anything, I don't think. Um, my thing that I did here is if I felt like there was anything that he might want back at some point, I just put it in the garage in a storage bin and I will see if he asks for it back. Um, if he doesn't in a few months, then I will just get rid of it. But yeah, I think that's a really good way to kind of still get rid of things and declutter toys without making it, you know, <laughs> a traumatizing event for them. But yeah, some of the main toys that he actually plays with are, he has a few vehicles down there, but he mostly plays with the wooden train tracks and the tunnels. He loves building those. Um, and he also has magnetiles. He loves playing with those. And then some animal figurines, but he doesn't play with those too often, just sometimes. So I kept those still. But yeah, I just feel like there are so many things that he doesn't actually play with. So um, yeah, my goal was just to reduce the amount of stuff so that it's easier to clean at the end of the day as well. I also did a big purge of all of these play foods that he has in his play kitchen because he does like to play with them but I feel like he doesn't need like a hundred little pieces of them floating around everywhere. It gets overwhelming. Like I don't think they need that much to play with and to have fun. So I ended up um, putting away quite a bit of this play food. So I think I put away about half of it, to be honest. Um, and I just kept the nicer ones and the ones that I know he actually likes playing with. And to be honest, he didn't even realize, like I don't think he misses any of those play foods and it just makes it so much easier to clean up even if he dumps all of them out, um, you know, at one point during the day.
Yes, so that is kind of our system. We have a few things in each basket of the same category. And I just, um, you know, I'm hoping we will be able to keep it. And I think in time I might declutter even more. I'm just kind of depending on our needs. But yeah, it's um, just kind of starting small and making progress um, along the way. But I do hope you have enjoyed coming along with me on this messy to minimal um, video today. And I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.